and look at the the mirror action now. Yo, today we are making an enclosure and we are going to rehouse the tarantula in it, but there is a specific twist to it. And the twist is something that I read in the comments a long time ago and it was such a good idea that I wrote it down but never actually did it. And now I finally remembered it, got all the stuff that I need and I'm ready to do that. And let me show you what that is. You see, this is the base of our border enclosure when I'm making it. This is the bottom part and this is the back. So we are still lacking sides, front panel, doors and top lid. And specific thing that we will do about this enclosure are its sides. Instead of using regular glass, I'm going to use, you see, a mirror. So that means that both sides will be mirrors and we will, I don't really know what the effect will be, but I think that for one side you will be, you will see the other side, but also in that side you will see the other. So I think that we should see something like an infinite enclosure when you're looking on the sides in the mirrors. I'm not really sure if that is how it will turn out, but we are going to do that and then we will see if how it's going to look. And the tarantula that we are going to rehouse in this enclosure is going to be this Psalopeus pool hair, female, you see, and she's still kind of maybe too small for this enclosure. She could easily fit the terrestrial enclosure set up as an arboreal one, so with less substrate, but having her in a regular sized arboreal enclosure it won't be a problem because this in the end will be her permanent enclosure and she will most likely stay in this enclosure for entirety of her lifespan. <laughs> so in addition to a rehouse and seeing a tarantula, you're also going to see in this video the whole process of making the entire enclosure. I mean, how I make the arboreal setup. You will also see how I'm using the, the 3D printed parts that I'm using inside and also all the other thing like ventilation, top ventilation and everything. So let me grab a silicone gun because connecting the sides is of course our first step. First step would actually be connecting bottom piece to a top piece, I mean back piece, but that is already done and yeah. I'm gonna clean the edge with alcohol. This will ensure that silicone will stick properly. Next step is applying silicone on the edge, just like this. Now making sure that the silicone is spread evenly, because sometimes you miss some spots, so it's better to check that. Now I'm using one side to make sure that I get the 90 degrees angle, and I'm ready to put the first side. Like this. Okay, I think that that is it. Let me just check. Good, good, good. Now one time jump, first side is cured. Now to do the same thing for the second side. This is my way of doing enclosures. This is not the only way of how you can do this. Maybe it is best, maybe it is not, I don't know, but this is how, how I've been doing it so far. People usually connect all the sides at once and just connect them with uh, painter's tape. They stick everything together and connect with painter's tape, let it cure, but for some reason I prefer doing it like this step by step because it feels like I have greater control over how things will turn out because I feel like when you are doing it all at once there is a greater chance of messing something up. So yeah, disclaimer, this is how I, I am doing this stuff, not the best way or the only way. Okay. Now another time jump and now with both sides cured I need to quickly silicone the background over there and also front piece. So yeah, just silicone and plia plia plia. And funny thing is that last one minute of this video was recorded uh, through a span of three days now and there will be more because after we silicone this, another time jump, yeah. The background is at its place and you can already see how trippy is this. This is definitely looking a bit trippy. <laughs> now to silk on this edge and get front piece ready for installation of the door. Mm -hmm. Okay, ready for final time jump. And now we arrive at the final stage of the enclosure building process. In order to slightly connect plastic pieces with the glass, I'm using this uh, two-sided tape. Can you see it? Not really, it's M3 tape but it is double-sided, so we just stick one side 
uh, peel the top off and then the other side is also sticky and that way you connect the plastic with the glass although that is not the, the super strong bond the bond on its own it's the fact that a glass will sit in between the plastics here you see so I just put it over there now give me a second for that I need to peel off the, the protective piece yep you see just like that I just put this here and hammer it down now the top piece that keeps the, the top glass panel that one also goes but you don't need a hammer for that and before I can put the other side I need to put the door and it is I need to clean it okay now it's partially clean now you see on the end of door pieces there are these plastic pins this one and this top one those just go into a hole here and then you have this other piece that goes on the side and that goes right here and the door is finished you just lift it up and voila it works simple yet effective uh, now the top piece we have this glass going here and then this ventilation piece going here I just silicone it down and that's it well this section is closed off with this glass panel and when you open the door that one slides on top just like that yeah so once again let's silicone this and get it over with glass sticks like that and the ventilation piece and now when this final silicone cures then the enclosure is complete so one time jump and everything is complete now door ventilation ventilation everything is connected everything works i prepare substrate cables mesh cork bark one plant springtails are down there and we can do this also one major not major but one upgrade to the table setup you see now this thing that i have above the table uh, i can actually put camera here and it is slideable so that means that i can connect the camera here like that and voila we have top perspective i can show you stuff like this you see yeah i can spot observe everything this is a major improvement to this setup it gives me so much possibilities but for now camera still goes on the trusty uh, tripod right here and also if you noticed i covered this side with black tape so it will be a prettier this side is not covered and you see it doesn't look pretty but you won't be able to see this because that will be right here so you won't see it anyway all right now for reals let's do it first thing first clay balls then we separate those clay balls with the mesh it just simply goes on top of that now we pour in the substrate standard procedure now to put cord mark that goes behind and already this setup yeah it is so weird to see it <laughs> this will be too much but you know that i can separate the exact piece that i need and that will be this long one i just pull the roots out and yeah that should be good i'll just stick all the roots inside of this hole and then we need to hmm, make this plant go like like this it is good right now you see the enclosure already seems so much bigger than it actually is because it looks like it just goes on and on and on you see there is no end to this enclosure and it would be even better if i do this in like big enclosure so you can see it very well because this enclosure is really narrow and you don't see sides that very well but on a bigger enclosure yeah i think that i will definitely do the same thing like this but with a bigger enclosure one more thing i still have this plant and i want to use it to make enclosure even fuller this will go behind right in the corner yeah that should be it now yep even better now it is a shame that i don't have one branch to put because it would make the enclosure look even fuller and prettier but this will do now we need springtails and that will be it we are going to drop the tarantula inside done that's it now to water the enclosure you know plants need water a lot of water to thrive good and where is the tarantula she is right here now compare this enclosure with this enclosure what do you think is this upgrade big enough i think that this will be her permanent enclosure maybe she will need 
slightly bigger cork bark tube, maybe with bigger hole, but I think that the size of the enclosure will be all right. Poking stick. This should be fun, and even though uh, Salpeos tarantulas, they are new world, so that means that they have, uh, yeah, weaker venom. Venom not as strong as old world tarantulas. Tarantulas from Salpeos genus, they don't have articulating hairs. So their only line of defense are those things and that venom. So therefore, their venom is stronger than a regular New World Tarantula like some Brachypelma or Gramostola. And you have seen that they are more bited than other New World Tarantulas. Come on. That is also the reason why I don't really want them on my hands. But maybe one day I will try it out. Come on, girl, when you see this new enclosure, I think that you will be thrilled and you will be happy to move away from this dump. Yeah, this current enclosure is a dump compared to this enclosure. This is like uh, a beautiful mansion with pool and sauna and all that nice stuff. Maybe even a tennis court, while this enclosure, this is like, uh, I don't know. A big cardboard box. Come on, why are you doing this? Why are you being so stubborn? You are getting an upgrade of your life. Trust me, you just need to go out. There. Now, you see, this is the real deal. What do you think, huh? Mm, lovely, lovely. I don't think that she thinks too much, but once she starts exploring the enclosure, she will figure out that this is more suitable environment for her. And she also got her personal cleanup crew. You see all the springtails down there. They are going to clean your poo. Isn't that a lovely thing? Oh, she's on a move. <laughs> and look at the, the mirror action now. <laughs> this is so trippy. <laughs> and oh no, she went directly in her hide. Down there, you see? So I guess the show is over, but that is the mirror and I mean the arboreal enclosure with mirror sides. I don't really know how I will title this video, but it will be something like that. Hmm. I also have the label already, you see, but we need to take her enclosure first on its spot and then I will stick it on. Ta-da! There we go. And to be honest, the glass on the side is really subtle, but it gives a nice feel when you are looking like this. But you see from this side, it is just black and it doesn't change the perspective on these enclosures, but this is definitely more open and wide and I don't know, I really like it, but this was just an experiment and I don't plan to do more enclosures like this, but I will definitely do a bigger enclosure, bigger vivarium like the ones that I have for frogs. Yeah, now that was everything for this video. I hope you enjoyed this video. <laughs> if you did, thumbs it up and comment something. If you want to support this channel a little more, there's a Patreon page. If you're new to this channel, make sure to subscribe. I upload Monday and Friday. So see you again soon. Bye-bye.